Well, it has been a very, very, very busy several weeks for me. Finally getting around to getting another video done here. And this is a 70s D18 291. Makes it a pretty early 70s. And this one was one of the guitars that we evaluated uh, before doing anything to it. And now it's almost done. We're going to do two comparisons here. We're going to do... Um, the, the last thing I have to do to this guitar is pull the popsicle brace. Uh, the tuners were already done. I did a bone nut. I did a full Evo refret. I did a neck reset on it. I did a Grenadier bridge uh, with two and a quarter inch spacing, a long saddle, black locust bridge plate, and scallop of the X braces. And pick guard. It's got a nice pick guard on it now. And I think this is the first time probably the owner's seen it. So let's take a look at it real quick right here. Anyway, I'm going to play it. I'm going to compare it to my shop, 72D18. And then I'm going to remove the popsicle brace and recompare it. So this guitar, let me think how I should do this. Um, it'll be this guitar with the popsicle brace. This guitar without the popsicle brace. And then the 72 Shop D18 as the last comparison. Yeah, that would make the most sense. Because then that way you'll get to hear this guitar with the popsicle brace, without the popsicle brace. And then you'll get to hear it against the Shop uh, D18. And I'm pretty confident this one's going to sound better than the Shop because of this Grenadier Bridge, which I think is really good wood. I think it gives it a little bit more bass and a little bit more fullness. But... Let's give it a shot and see what we think about this.
This is the shop, uh, D18, it's a 72. It has been fully worked over for about three or maybe four years now. So I expect it to be a little bit more mature than the, um, than the customer's guitar. Um, this one has all the same modifications. It's got the tuners and nut. It's got a full roof fret and that reset. Popsicle brace is gone. It's got a pick guard on it. This one has a Brazilian rosewood bridge. Um, antique acoustic bridge pins. Black locust bridge pay. This one is fully scalloped. So that means the tone bars are scalloped too. So the two main differences that you would expect to hear would be the Brazilian rosewood bridge and the fully scalloped uh, bracing with the tone bars scalloped. I would expect, um, experience tells me that scalloping the tone bars gives it a little bit more woofiness, but reduces the punch just a little bit maybe. The Brazilian Rosewood Bridge, this guitar had a Grenadillo Bridge on it before. I've said this before, but a lot of you guys are new listeners and you know, the first time you've seen these guitars. This one had a Grenadillo Bridge on it, but I messed up the spacing a little bit and I didn't like it, so I redid it in Brazilian. And when I did that, I felt like it lost a little bit of uh, power, a little bit of meat, a little bit of a, the thicker tone to it. The tone got a little bit brighter, a little bit thinner sounding. Um, I kind of miss that Grenadillo Bridge. Um, one of these days, I might make another one like that, but, you know, it's doing pretty good. It sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm not complaining about it too much. I just kind of wish, uh, I kind of prefer the other one. You know, I feel like it's got a little bit less woof, a little bit more power to it, more mid-range punch. Um, I just kind of prefer that sound just a little bit more, you know. Uh, those are the two main differences, though, between the two, guard, two guitars. I just always use the shop guitar because it's a, it's, a, it's a standard. It doesn't vary. So you can go back to my other videos and you can listen to this guitar versus the shop guitar. And again... You know, we're not doing a, a better or worse thing here. All I'm doing is giving people a chance to say, oh, I like the sound of this one a little bit better. So that when I work on your guitar, if I ever get to it, if, if I work on your guitar, I know what kind of sound you are after. And I can go back and, and, you know, look at that video and go, okay, you know, you like this sort of setup a little bit better than you like this little setup. And so anyway... I like this guitar, I mean, I, I mean, it's a good D18, so. All right. Man, it's been busy. See you later.